first people in the UK are expected to receive a coronavirus vaccine later today as rollout of the Pfizer-BioNTech jab begins in what has been branded V-Day. Hospital hubs across Britain are gearing up to vaccinate the over-80s and some health workers and care home staff, marking the start of the NHS's largest ever vaccination programme. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he was immensely proud of the scientists who have developed the new jab. He also praised NHS staff for working tirelessly to make the vaccine rollout happen, with the UK becoming the first country in the world to start vaccinating people with the jab. Boris Johnson will travel to Brussels for a showdown with Europe's top official as they fight to break the deadlock in negotiations on a post-Brexit trade deal. The Prime Minister and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen agreed to the meeting after a lengthy telephone call to take stock of the faltering talks. Despite the commitment to a meeting, the pair acknowledged significant differences remained, with time running out to secure trading arrangements before Britain leaves the block on December the 31st. Sky News presenter Kay Burley has apologised for an error of judgement after breaking COVID-19 safety rules. The broadcast journalist said she was celebrating her 60th birthday at a COVID-compliant restaurant on Saturday and afterwards popped into another venue to use the bathroom. The gathering was reportedly in London, which is under Tier 2 restrictions. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has apologised to those affected by the Christchurch terror attacks as a report shed new light on how the government eluded detection. The nearly 800-page Royal Commission of Inquiry report released on Tuesday concluded that despite the shortcomings of various agencies, there were no clear signs the attack carried out by Brendan Tarrant was imminent but it did detail failings in the police system for vetting gun licences and said that New Zealand's intelligence services were focused on the threat posed by Islamic extremism rather than white supremacists. Among 44 recommendations, the report wants the government to establish a new national intelligence agency. And finally, a puppy that was abandoned in a bucket in 2019 has recovered to become a successful police sniffer dog. Dustin was one of four Cocker Spaniel puppies found abandoned in a garden in Red Hill in Surrey in July last year. The litter of six-week-olds had severe mange, eye and ear infections and required a lot of care. Having recovered and found a new home, Dustin proved to be too much for his new owners to handle, but found his calling instead with Surrey and Sussex Police Dog Unit. Dustin is paired with PC Steph Barrett, who renamed him Badger, and six months ago he qualified to become a sniffer dog. The 20-month-old has now been trained to search for drugs, cash and weapons.